Look at that. What do you think happened? The smell is coming from that box. Excuse me, what happened here? There were seafood gels in there, but they all got burnt up. Ah, seafood gels. That explains the fishy smell. You say they got burnt. How? An arsonist. Some punk's been lighting up the town. We finally managed to catch him, though. Wait, if you caught him, wouldn't that mean there's someone else? That bastard must have broken out of jail. What makes you so sure it's the same person? Whenever he sets something on fire, this strange bright light always appears. Same thing happened when these seafood gels went up in flames. I told him that dinky prison would never hold a huge guy like that. That's horrible. We must put a stop to this arsonist before we leave. Well, we could, but... I'm surprised to hear this coming from you. You're usually all stay focused. We have to find the Centurion's cores and stuff. What's wrong with that? It's not as if we're in a hurry. But we have a job to do. I mean, maybe not you and I exactly, but Emil and Marta still have to locate the Centurion's cores before Lloyd gets to them. Shouldn't we at least head to the harbor and find out when the next ship is leaving? The harbor. Oh, that's right. You can't swim, so... Fine, we'll go to the harbor. Rain really can't swim? Yep, she sinks like a lump of lead. It doesn't matter if it's an ocean or a stream, she hates water. She kind of tries to hide it, though. Lead, you say? I certainly wouldn't expect that to float. Right. That's why we sometimes call people who can't swim leadheads. Well, that explains it, then. Who could hope to swim with a head that heavy? You think it's her head that causes her to sink? Doesn't it stand to reason? Plus, depending on where she would swim, the lead could contaminate the local supply of drinking water. Huh? I must admit my surprise. I would never have imagined rain to be made of metal. If that's the case, it might be possible to classify her as a new breed of monster. Well, she is like a monster when she's in ruin mode. Sorry, buddy. No ships are gonna be leaving port anytime soon. Why not? Well, you must have heard about that last fire we had. That arsonist must be on the loose again. If we shipped out now, he might escape by pretending to be one of the passengers. What are we supposed to do if we're in a hurry? We just had another fire, and you're in a hurry to leave town? Seems a little fishy to me. What did you say? Why don't you try saying that to my face, smart guy? What? If you're saying you're not, then... Then what? I can't breathe. Emil, stop it! I... You can't go into Ratatosk mode here. Apologize to the guy. Uh, right. I'm very sorry. Yeah, sure. So, back to the arsonist. Let's find him. Once we do, we can leave on the ship. Yeah, let's check out the jail first to see if we can find any clues. Yeah, what's wrong with me?
does a meal really go into ratatosk mode this often? Hmm, I don't think it used to happen quite so much. I wonder if there's something keeping him on edge. Maybe having my sister and me around all the time is stressing him out. I don't think that's it, but I'll ask him. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could tell us anything about the escaped arsonist. Huh? The arsonist escaped? Don't be ridiculous. He's still there. See for yourself. Uh, he is. What's going on here? If the arsonist is still here, then the latest fire must have been started by someone else. Do you mind if we have a word with the criminal? Sure, but be careful. What are you doing here? That's what we should be asking you. I'm embarrassed for you to see me like this. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, this is Regal Bryant. He was with us in the journey of world regeneration. He's also the president of the Lazareno Company. Lazareno? But they're huge! Why would their president be starting fires? So, Regal, tell us, what happened? To be honest, I don't really know myself. I was in town on business when I happened to meet a man named Berg, a gel maker who said he'd seen Lloyd. While we were speaking, I suddenly found myself engulfed by this strange light, and just like that, I blacked out. When I came to, the building was in flames, and Berg was lying unconscious. I grabbed him and ran outside. Where you were arrested and blamed for all the fires. Exactly. But I had nothing to do with any of it. Of course, we would never think you would. So you wouldn't know anything about the most recent fire? What? There was another fire? We're looking for the person that started it. Arson is one of the most cowardly crimes. If I could leave this prison, I would gladly join you in your search. The man you met, Berg, he didn't vouch for you? Unfortunately, he's still out cold. He may have inhaled a lot of smoke during the fire. Hey, Marta, do you think you might be able to use healing arts to help Berg? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. Then let's go. If we can get him to wake up, maybe we can clear Regal's name. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay. I heard Berg was taken to his house. Please, do anything you can. Hey, Genus. Could you tell me a little about Regal? Well, we got to know him when he traveled with us on the journey of world regeneration two years ago. He's the type of guy you can always depend on. And as president of the world-famous Lazareno Company, he's well-respected wherever he goes. But he was a prisoner the first time we met him, too. What? It almost seemed like he started to enjoy being locked up. I wish you were joking, but I think you might be onto something there. He's mentally exhausted. We have to do something, and quickly.
Rain, what do you think? From the looks of it, he might have been poisoned by a light frog. A light frog? Ah, uh, yes, that's what you humans call it. What strange names you have for things. Yes, this man has been infected by the poison of the Nasdrovier, the monster your people call the Light Frog. Nasdrovier? Light Frog? Nasdrovier is the proper term. Light Frog is the term you humans call it. The Nasdrovier absorbs high amounts of energy and releases it in a burst of light and heat. It's enough to knock out any creature that touches it. Light and heat? Then that must be what's causing all the fires around here. Of course! It must be the Light Frog. It's called the Nasdrovier. If I remember correctly, the Light Frog is a rare species that only lives near Flanor. Nasdrovier. The Zuld has a trade route with Flanor. The creatures could have arrived in cargo bound for here, then flourished due to the unusual weather conditions. So assuming this is the result of light frog poison, an antidote ought to cure him, right? Nasdrovier! Unfortunately, there's no antidote for the light frog's poison. It's more of a viral infection rather than a venom. <sighs> I believe Rosemary is able to counter the light frog's poison. Tenebrae, you're giving in? Just leave me alone. But where do we find some rosemary? It used to grow wild in the Camberto Caves, but I heard it became extinct with the recent climate changes. Great. What do we do now? Well, we know what caused the fires. Let's explain the situation so we can leave by ship. But what about Berg? And we can't just leave Regal in jail like that. I don't like it either, but the most important thing right now is to find the Centurion's cores as soon as possible, correct? Rain, how could you say something like that? It's our only choice. We've done everything we can here. But I can't just ignore someone who's suffering right in front of me. Then what do you propose we do? Keep in mind that Lloyd could be taking the Centurion's cores as we speak. And what if he plans to use the cores to hurt others? Rain! I can't believe you! Wasn't Lloyd your student? Your friend? I'm merely pointing out a possibility. Be a man. I say we find a cure. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Please, you don't even have the means. We just have to find it in those damn Camberto Caves. How can you be so sure that they're all gone? And what about the Centurion's cores? Shut up! We're the ones who need to find all the cores. What do you care? All right then, let's go to the Camberto Caves. Rain? I apologize. Please forget everything I said. Come on, let's go. What's up with Rain? I think she was trying to provoke a meal on purpose. Why would she do that? I don't know. me. If we could only tap into your memories, the mysteries of the ancient world would be at our disposal. It's incredible how dramatically rain changes from moment to moment. Is it? I barely notice anymore. What I thought was odd was when she was needling you with all those questions earlier. Really? The way she is now seems a lot weirder than that. I don't know. There was something very curious about her interest in you. No way! She was definitely weirder just now. Genus. Marta, may I ask what you find so odd, very curious, and definitely weird about me? Uh, nothing at all!
Didn't you visit the place we're heading to right now during your journey of regeneration? No. We did our fair share of traveling then, but there were plenty of places we didn't see. Really? Well, it's not like we were sightseeing, but I'm pretty sure we passed through all the major towns. Oh. I just figured you guys had pretty much been everywhere there is to go. I think Tenebrae's seen more of the world than we have. He's been alive a really long time. If you insist on treating me like a senile old buffoon, I have nothing to say to you. He's very sensitive about his age. Still, it can't be much longer before all his fur goes white. How rude. Especially coming from someone with a full head of white hair. It's silver. Old people are so crouchy. There doesn't seem to be any here. Let's keep going. Um, Rain? Yes? You made a meal mad on purpose earlier. Why did you do that? Oh, I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to hurry our journey along. Rain! <laughs> Emil, you probably won't like this, but Lloyd once said something similar. Huh? How can we go on a quest to regenerate the world if we can't even save the people standing right in front of us? Lloyd said that? Come on, let's keep moving. Is it just me, or did she avoid the question entirely? Yeah. Why? This area has a lot of herbs. You're right. Herbs? I've never liked them much. Why's that? Well, they smell weird for one thing, and they're usually too spicy or bitter for me. They just don't taste good. I guess you're still a child in that regard. Uh, I am? As you get older, you learn to appreciate the more bitter flavors. Yes, darkness and bitterness are the two principal flavors of adulthood. Um, I don't think darkness is technically a flavor. In other words, since Tenebrae's the Centurion of Darkness, <laughs> that means he's old. Say your prayers.
because of the water running through here. It's really chilly. But it's not frozen. The water must not be that cold. It seems that way. Too cold one minute and too hot the next. Human beings are very inconvenient. You are insensitive in every sense of the word, you know that? How rude. I have senses too, I'll have you know. What sort of senses? For example, I can sense when it's dark, darker, or especially dark. You're the centurion of darkness? That's your job.
You're too weak. <laughs> 